O God, make speed to save us. Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of your Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your Spirit come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear that the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, what destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak and let the storm be still. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from James chapter 5, verses 7 to the end. Meanwhile, friends, wait patiently for the master's arrival. You see, farmers do this all the time, waiting for their valuable crops to mature, patiently letting the rain do its slow but sure work. Be patient like that. Stay steady and strong. The master could arrive at any time. Friends, don't complain about each other. A far greater complaint could be lodged against you, you know. The judge is standing just around the corner. Take the old prophets as, as your mentors. They put up with anything, went through everything, and never once quit. All the time honouring God. What a gift life is to those who stay the course. You've heard, of course, of Job staying in power, and you know how God brought it all together for him at the end. That's because God cares, cares right down to the last detail. And since you know that he cares... Let your language show it. Don't add words like, I swear to God, to your own words. Don't show your impatience by con concocting oaths to hurry up God. Just say yes or no. Just say what is true. That way your language can't be used against you. Are you hurting? Pray. Do you feel great? Sing. Are you sick? Call the church leaders together to pray and anoint you with oil in the name of the Master. Believing prayer will heal you, and Jesus will put you on your feet. And if you've sinned, you'll be forgiven, healed inside and out. Make this your common practice. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other, so that you can live together, whole and healed. The prayer of a person living right with God is something powerful to be reckoned with. Elijah, for instance, human just like us, Prayed hard that it wouldn't rain, and it didn't. Not a drop for three and a half years. Then he prayed that it would rain, and it did. The showers came and everything started to grow again. My dear friends, if you know people have wandered off from God's truth, don't write them off 
Go after them. Get them back and you will have rescued precious lives from destruction and prevented an epidemic of wandering away from God. Your salvation is near to those who fear you. That glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you. That glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. That glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you. That glory may dwell in our land. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call her blessed. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation... He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call her blessed. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this amazing weather. We thank you that we are here safe and sound in this building, serving food to those in need. Now we are in a, in a country where we are safe, we have a, an NHS to support us, police to protect us. We have so many wonderful benefits living in this country, Lord, and we thank you for them. But Lord, help us to keep our eyes open to those who have wandered away from you. Help us to see who we need to talk to, who we need to bring back into your fold, Lord, to comfort, to pray with, to support to care for. You've called us to love our neighbours as ourselves. Help us to do this, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We take a moment of silence now as we lift our own prayers to you, God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we lift up all those who are still suffering, who are still isolated or alone. We pray for them and pray for peace on their lives, that they can step outside in faith, without fear, to connect with friends and family again, Lord. Help us to support those who need that help. Help us to see what we need to see. Give us wisdom in those moments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, help us at St. Peter's in Harrogate. Help us to be a beacon in this community. Help your church across the world to show your love and your light. To be open for anybody to walk in. No egos, no politics. Just you at the heart of it, Lord. For your glory and not our own. Amen.
Almighty God, whose servant Dominic grew in the knowledge of your truth and formed an order of preachers to proclaim the faith of Christ, by your grace, give to all your people a love for your word and a longing to share the gospel so that the whole world may come to know you and your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us here in church, and thank you for joining us at home. I uh, pray you have a blessed evening uh, and uh, we will see you at church tomorrow, either online or in the building. God bless. <laughs>